What's up, friends? Welcome to the College Sports Corner. I hope you're having a great weekend. Um, weather outside here in Southeast Texas is finally starting to come around to being, it looks like to be a nice day. We've had some rainy, gloomy days uh, the last few days. Hope the weather's great where you are. Great day to watch basketball. And what we have seen here since Thursday, um, crazy, incredible. I mean, just put whatever word you want in there. Probably one of the best tournaments I've seen uh, quite a few years. Unless, of course, you're a Purdue fan or Kansas fan. Because, man, I, 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 we'll go over all that. I don't know what the hell happened there. Uh, got some news items to go over. And then we're going to dive right into this first and second round. We'll uh, talk about the games that are happening today. Before we do, hit that little subscribe button so you don't miss anything. Let's get some news items. Just a few. Not, not too many. Uh, like we mentioned, number one's Purdue and Kansas. Number one seeds, they are out. Um, did not see that coming. I really didn't. Uh, Texas A&M Corpus Christi head coach Steve Lutz. He's been hired as Western Kentucky's new basketball coach. Uh, in two seasons there at Corpus Christi A&M. He is 47-23, and 21-11 and 11 in conference play. Back-to-back -back NCAA tournament appearances. Um I don't know if you, uh, my aunt lives down in Corpus Christi and where the campus is is really beautiful. So I don't know if Western Kentucky, I've never been to Western Kentucky's campus. I don't know if that area of the country is beautiful. So, I mean, uh, I would have stayed, but then again, we don't know what the money was. So <laughs> um, maybe he just wants to work his way up into a major program. Who knows? But anyway, yeah, Steve Lutz, A&M Corpus Christi is now Western Kentucky's head coach. Alabama incoming freshman defensive back Tony Mitchell. <clears throat> he was one of 26 players, I think, uh, recruited. I think that's what it said, recruited by Alabama. Uh, in Florida on spring break, having fun like college kids and high school kids do. Arrested for pot possession. Also in the found in the car with a friend of his. Scales, a loaded handgun, and a large amount of cash. Uh, that's not a way to kick off. Good way to kick off your college career, especially seeing how spring practice for Alabama starts tomorrow. Um, man, get. I mean, I don't understand some of these kids. Like, yeah, we all did stupid stuff when we were kids, but man, he's got an opportunity. He got recruited. <clears throat> he was going to play for the defensive back for Alabama. You know, possibly. Who knows. Uh, but he had that opportunity, and then he goes to spring break trying to, it looks like trying to sell dope, because why else would you have a marijuana scales, a handgun, and a large amount of cash in the car? Hmm? Uh, don't know what's going to happen. They're still going to let him on the team or whatever, because that remains to be seen. Um, interesting news here. School presidents for both Arizona and Arizona State have rebuffed interest in a move to the Big 12. Um, uh, Arizona State President Mike Crow says there have been no discussions with the Big 12 at this time on moving to their conference. Uh, we know how things change. Um, certain schools are, oh, we're staying here. We're not going anywhere. And then a week later, oh, yeah, we're going over here, by the way. So, uh, I know the Big 12 is looking to fill spots in their conference. Pac-12 losing, uh, the L.A. schools, they're looking... To fill those spots, so it's just all. I kind of wish one. I kind of wish we could just go back to everything we had years ago. You know, uh, Pac-10, WAC, uh, Big Eight, Southwest Conference. You know, all that kind of stuff from way back when. And heck, take the two best teams out of each conference and play them off. I mean, you know, uh, I'm a traditionalist, so I would like to see that happen, but I don't think it's going to happen. Anyway. Let's get to this tournament. Crazy ass tournament. Uh, good tournament too. Unless your team lost. Like mine did, A and M underachieving once again. But okay, so um just where are we? Oh, first round. First round on Thursday. Uh AM Corpus Christi had to play in to get in. They got in. Uh they won the right to get beat by Alabama. Alabama beat Texas AM Corpus Christi 96 75. Uh, Alabama's Pringle, 19 points, 15, 15 rebounds off the bench. Sears, 15 points. He made three three-pointers in this game. 
Uh, Brandon Miller, zero points in that game against Corpus Christi. Uh, came out, he had a groin injury or something. Uh, he did better uh, last night for sure, but anyway. Uh, Alabama, they made 15 three-pointers in this game. Nice for them. Uh, and then Corpus Christi, Tennyson had 12, 20 points. Mashila, 16 points, 15 rebounds. Uh, they actually had less turnovers in Alabama in this game, but still lost by 21 points. Hmm. Uh, number one, Kansas beat number 16, Howard, 96-68. Uh, Wilson for Kansas, 20.7 rebounds. Deke, 19 points, 11 rebounds, 5 assists. He made three three-pointers in this game. Uh, Odom for Howard, 15 points, 8 rebounds. Uh, Settle the third, 13 points. He made three three-pointers in this one. Kansas was uh, 38 for 73 from the field. Howard was 26 for 67 from the field. Kansas, 13 steals. Howard committed 18 turnovers. This one was crazy. I did not expect this. I expect it to be a good game, but I did not expect the outcome. Number 15, Princeton beats number two, Arizona, 59-55. Uh, crazy. Cra crazy, crazy, crazy. Uh, Princeton's Ubuwan. I can never say this guy's name. Ubuwan. 15 points, 7 rebounds, 4 assists. Only player for Princeton with double-digit points, which is crazy when you think about it. they're playing Arizona. Um, man. Uh, Arizona's Tubulus, 22 points, 5 rebounds. Balo, 13 points, 12 rebounds. Princeton was 26 for 64 from the field. Arizona was 24 for 57. Uh, Princeton was 4 for 25 on three-pointers. Arizona was 3 for 16. Three for five on free throws. Princeton, four for seven on free throws. Not much fouling going on in that game. Uh, Princeton, eight steals and six blocks. Arizona had five steals, 13 turnovers. Um, Princeton actually didn't lead this game until the final 203 was left. Um, Arizona was held scoreless in the final four minutes and 43 seconds. That is some serious freaking defense there. Um, especially with a team as good as Arizona. Man, you cannot, I can't, cannot believe they didn't score against Princeton in almost the last five minutes of this game. Um, anyway, hey, congratulations, Princeton. Damn. Uh, I picked Arizona. I picked wrong. It is what it is, huh? Good old college sports. Hey, uh, number seven, Northwestern beat number 10, Boise State, 75-67. Northwestern's Bowie, 22 points, five rebounds, five assists. Followed by Adigi. I think that's how you say it. Adigi. 20 points, 6 rebounds. Boise State's Rice. 17 points, 4 rebounds, 4 assists. Uh, Smith. 14 points, 11 rebounds. Northwestern. 26 for 53 from the field. Boise State. 26 for 65 from the field. Uh, Northwestern. Hit 8 three-pointers in this game. Boise hit 6 three-pointers. Northwestern. 15 for 18 from the free throw line. Boise State. 9 for 14 from the free throw line. Uh, I figured North, Northwestern would win this game. Uh, Boise State's a good team. I've seen them a couple of their games this year. But uh, there's just something about that Northwestern run they went on about a month and a half ago. I mean, I know they lost a few after, but beating teams like that, I was like, yeah, they probably got this game. Uh, number two, Texas beats number 15, Colgate, 81-61. Colgate's a good team. I thought it'd be closer than 20 points, but not – didn't happen. Uh, Texas's Rice came off the bench. 23 points, 6 rebounds, hit 7 three-pointers in that game. Uh, Disu and Carr, 17 points each. Records and Moffitt for Colgate, they have 13 points each. Texas, 31 for 58 from the field. Colgate, 25 for 58 from the field. Texas hit 13 three-pointers in that one. Uh, Colgate did have 11 steals, so they played a good game until Texas opened it up. Uh, number five, Duke beat number 12, Oral Roberts, 74-51. Another one I thought would be a closer game because Oral Roberts is a good team. And um, after what I saw yesterday against Tennessee, I can't believe Oral Roberts didn't beat Duke. Uh, <laughs> anyway, Roach for Duke, 23 points. Whitehead, 13 points, four rebounds. Uh, Abnis for Oral Roberts, 12 points, three rebounds, five assists. Duke, 31 for 64 from the field. Oral Roberts was only 19 for 63 from the field. Uh, Duke made six three-pointers, but Oral Roberts did make eight. 
Duke, 47 rebounds in this game. Oral Roberts only got 32 rebounds. Uh, this one doesn't really surprise me. Um, maybe just a little bit when I saw the final score. I was like, wow, it really did happen. Uh, number 13, Furman, beats number 4, Virginia, 68-67. Furman, Slauson, 19 points, 10 rebounds. Foster, 14 points, 5 rebounds. Uh, Shredrick for Virginia, 15 points, 13 rebounds. Bickman, 14 points, 5 rebounds. Furman, 22 for 56 from the field. They made 10 three-pointers. They were 14 for 19 from the free-throw line. Uh, Virginia was 24 for 54 from the field. They only made two three-pointers. 17 for 22 from the free-throw line. Uh, Furman's Pigs, three-point shot to go ahead by one point with two seconds left. Uh, if you didn't see it, Virginia last, what was it, last, uh, I don't know, point something seconds or a second. Jumped up a three-pointer, didn't make it. Furman got the rebound, game over. Virginia went home. Uh, yeah, that cra it's like we've been saying. Crazy, 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 crazy game. Uh, let's see what we got else. Uh, number five, San Diego State beat number 12, Charleston, 63-57. Uh, Bradley for San Diego State, 17 points, 7 rebounds, 4 assists. Only player for the Aztecs to have double-digit points in that game. Uh, Charleston Brzovic, 12 points, 8 rebounds, followed by Larson, who had 11. San Diego State, 24 for 56 from the field. Charleston was 18 for 56 from the field. Charleston actually had 9 steals in this game. Um, San Diego State turned it over 14 times. Kind of lucky. I uh, thought this would be a good game, and it was a good game. Number 7, Missouri beat number 10, Utah State, 76-65. Uh, Missouri's Hoge, 23 points, 4 rebounds. He hit 5 three-pointers in this game. Brown, 19 points, 8 rebounds. He hit 3 three-pointers. Utah State's Funk, 16.7 rebounds. Ashworth and Aiken had 12 points each behind him. Uh, Missouri, 27 for 53 from the field. Utah 28 for 59 from the field. Uh, Missouri ended up hitting 10 three-pointers total in this game. Utah State turned the ball over 15 times. Uh, number one, Houston beats number 16, Northern Kentucky, 63-52. Houston's Walker, 16.6 rebounds, followed by Sheed, 13 points, 6 assists. Roberts, 11 points, 12 rebounds. Uh, Northern Kentucky's Vincent, 15 points, 8 rebounds. Robinson behind him had 11 points. Uh, Houston, 25 for 51 from the field. Northern Kentucky, 19 for 69 from the field. Both teams shot 9 for 10 from the free throw line. Number 2, UCLA beat number 15, UNC Asheville, 86-53. Uh, Bailey and Jock Hedge Jr. for the Bruins, 17 points each. Singleton had 11 points. Pember. For North Carolina Asheville, led the way, 13 points. Uh, Jones and Caldwell behind him, 11 points each. UCLA, 34 for 63 from the field. North Carolina Asheville, 19 for 51, and they turned the ball over 16 times. Uh, <clears throat> this damn game here. As an Aggie fan, all I can say is thank God baseball and softball season are here, even though they lost yesterday in baseball to LSU. I think LSU actually is won the series already. But thank God that's here because another underachieving Texas A&M team in this college sports year. Uh, Penn State beats them 76-59. Penn State's funk, 27 points, 8 rebounds. Uh, 27 points, he hit 8. Not 8 rebounds, but he hit 8 three-point shots. Damn. Uh, Pickett, 19.7 rebounds, 8 assists. Uh, A&M, Dennis, 19 points, 8 rebounds. He hit four three-pointers in this one. Uh, Radford, 14 points. He hit three three-pointers also. Uh, Penn State, 27 for 56 from the field. A&M was 20 for 59 from the field. Each team was 90% when they shot free throws. Um, yeah, life of an A&M fan. Things look great, and then all of a sudden they just, they just lay down and take a nap and daydream and so much wasted potential for my Aggies, most of their sports. Um, this was a good game, too. I figured this was going to be good. It was. Number four, Tennessee beats number 13, Louisiana, 58-55. 
Tennessee's key, 12 points, four rebounds. He came off the bench to do that. Uh, Mayshik, 11 points. Brown for Louisiana, 16.7 rebounds, followed by Julian, who had 15 points. Tennessee, 21 for 46 from the field. Louisiana was 21 for 55 from the field. Both teams under 58% from the free throw line. Uh, number 18, or number 8, Maryland, beat number 9, West Virginia, 67-65. Maryland's Reese, 17 points, 9 rebounds, followed by Hart, who had 15 points, 3 rebounds, 4 assists. Uh, Johnson for West Virginia, 27 points. He hit four three-pointers in this one. Mitchell behind him, 13 points, 6 rebounds. Maryland was 23 for 45 from the field. Uh, West Virginia was 22 for 56. Maryland, 15 for 22 from the free throw line, where uh, West Virginia was only 13 for 16, but still... Not too bad. Uh, Balin, seven steals, five blocks in this game. Uh, this one kind of surprised me a little bit. Number eight, Arkansas beat number nine, Illinois, 73-63. I'll admit I haven't seen too many Arkansas games, but I have seen quite a few Illinois games. Um, I figured Illinois is going to win this one, but psh, no. Uh, Council the fourth for Arkansas, 18 points, 10 rebounds, followed by Davis, 16 points, 6 rebounds. Illinois, Shannon Jr., 20 points. Hawkins and Melendez, 10 points each. Arkansas, 24 for 63 from the field. Illinois, 20 for 52. Um, Illinois actually hit 22 out of 29 free throws in this game, but lost by 10. Uh, this one I kind of expected. Number nine, Auburn beat number eight, Iowa. Uh, I've seen both of them play this year, and to me, Auburn was just the better team. Um, Auburn's broom. 19 points, 12 rebounds, followed by Green Jr., 15 points. Uh, Sandhart for Iowa, 21 points, 6 rebounds. Murray, 15 points, 9 rebounds behind him. Auburn, 29 for 63 from the field. Iowa, 28 for 68 from the field. Auburn, 17 for 22 from the free throw line. Iowa was 12 for 17 from the free throw line. All right, moving into Friday, continuing the first round. Number two, Marquette beat number 16, Vermont, 78-61. Jones for Marquette, 19 points, four rebounds. Ferretta, Penn, Duncan all had 11 points for Vermont in that one. Uh, number three, Gonzaga beat number 14, Grand Canyon, 82-70. Strother for Gonzaga, 28 points, 10 rebounds, followed by Timmy, 21 points, six rebounds. Uh, Grand Canyon's Harrison, 20 points. McMillan behind him. 16 points, 4 rebounds. Number 4, UConn beat number 13, Iona, 87-63. Uh, Sonoga for UConn, 28 points, 13 rebounds. Hawkins behind him, 13 points, 4 rebounds. Clayton Jr. for Iona, 15 points, 4 rebounds. Jenkins, 14 points there. Uh, number 3, Baylor beat number 14, UC Santa Barbara, 74-56. Flagler for, for Baylor, 18 points, followed by Cryer, who had 15 points. Norris for Santa Barbara, 15 points, 4 rebounds, followed by Mitchell. He had 13 points in that one. Number 13, Xavier, beat number 14. Or number 3, Xavier, beat number 14, Kennesaw State, 72-67. Hunter for Xavier, 24 points, 5 rebounds, followed by Baum, 17 points, 5 rebounds. Uh, Kennesaw State's Youngblood and Burton, 14 points each. Xavier, 24 for 52 from the field. Kennesaw State was 27 for 64. Number five, Miami, beat number 12, Drake, 63-56. Pack for Miami, 21 points, four rebounds. Popwar, yeah, 15 points for Miami. Both those guys made three three-pointers in this one. Uh, let's see, Brody for Drake, 20 points, nine rebounds. Calhoun, 12 points. Um, he, had, he had four three-pointers, and he came off the bench doing all that for Drake. Uh, Miami, 17 for 56 from the field. Drake was 22 for 55 from the field. Uh, Drake had 12 turnovers in this game. Number five, St. Mary's beat number 12, VCU, 63-51. Uh, Saxon and Dukas for St. Mary's, 17 points each. Uh, Balwer, Ball, what's that saying? Balwer, can't read my writing sometimes. Uh, VCU's Balwer Jr., 13 points, three rebounds. St. Mary's 20 for 49 from the field. VCU was 18 for 49 from the field. Uh, this one, I wasn't... I knew Michigan State could have the... They could win this game by some of the games I've seen them play. I just didn't think they would do it. I figured USC would win. Well, 
Michigan State wins by 10. Number 7, Michigan State beats number 10, USC, 72-62. Uh, Hauser for Michigan State, 17 points, 8 rebounds. Uh, Aikens and Walker, 12 points each. Morgan for USC, 14 points, 5 rebounds. Johnson, 13 points, 9 rebounds, 4 assists. He hit three three-pointers in this one. Michigan State was 26 for 54 from the field. USC was 24 for 58. Michigan State had seven steals, three blocks. USC had 11 turnovers in this one. Uh, number six, Creighton beat number 11, NC State, 72-63. Cockbrim uh, for Creighton, 31.7 rebounds. Galuma and Shireman, Nimard, all three of them have 10 points each. NC State Smith, 32 points. Not a bad game for him. Joiner behind him, 13.6 rebounds. Uh, Creighton, 26 for 56 from the field. The Wolfpack were 24 for 64 from the field. Uh, another shocker. Shocker, shocker, shocker. I knew Fairleigh Dickinson was a good team. I didn't think they were good enough to beat Purdue. They did. Number 16, Fairleigh Dickinson beats number one, Purdue, 63-58. Uh, Moore for Fairleigh Dickinson, 19 points, 5 rebounds. He hit three three-pointers in this one. Uh, Roberts behind him, 12 points, 4 rebounds, 4 assists. Purdue's Edie gets it done again. Just didn't, too bad he didn't have help around him. Uh, 21 points, 15 rebounds for the guy. Still a great game, even though he loved, they lost. Uh, Lawyer, Purdue, 13 points. He hit three three-pointers. Fairleigh Dickinson was 24 for 62 from the field. Purdue was 19 for 53 from the field, and Purdue committed 16 turnovers in that one. Uh, number six, Kentucky beat number 11, Providence, 61-53. Uh, there we go. Uh, Reeves for Kentucky, 22 points. He hit five three-pointers in this game. Toppin, 18 points, six rebounds. Croswell for Providence, 16 points, five rebounds. Uh, Kentucky, 28 for, or 23 for 63 from the field. Providence was 21 for 58 from the field. Kentucky out-rebounded them, out-rebounded Providence, 48 to 31. Uh, number 11, Pitt beat number 6, Iowa State, 59-41. Uh, Pitt's Cummings had 13 points. Burton had 11 points, 4 rebounds. Iowa State's Holmes and Kolschver, 12 points each in that one. Uh, Pitt. 14 for 41 from the field. Iowa State, 14 for 60 from the field. But Pitt did hit 25 out of 29 free throws, so that helped. Uh, Iowa State, 11 for 19 from the free throw line. Uh, number three, Kansas State beat number 14, Montana State, 77-65. Um, Johnson for Kansas State, 18 points, 8 rebounds. Noel, 17 points, 6 rebounds, uh, 14 assists. Montana State's battle, 27 points. Not bad. And he hit three three-pointers, so he had a good game, even though they lost. Uh, Brown was second, 12 points, nine, re nine assists. Kansas State, 32 for 55 from the field. Montana State, 25 for 54 from the field. Uh, two teams were pretty much close in all the numbers and all the categories for the, throughout the rest of it. Uh, Montana State had a good run. Kansas State keeps on going. Number five, Miami beat number 12. Did we already do that one? I may have written that one down twice, huh? Yeah, we already did Miami and Drake, so scratch that. Number four, Indiana beats number 13, Kent State, 71 to 60. Kent State, one of those good MAC teams that, uh, well, they made a top, top basketball program and uh, they lose 71 60. Uh, Jackson Davis for Indiana, 24 points, 11 rebounds, 5 assists. Thompson, 20 points, 9 rebounds. Carey for Kent State, 15 points. Davis and Payton, they had 10 points each. Uh, Indiana, 29 for 62 from the field. Kent State was 22 for 69 from the field. Indiana hit five three-pointers in this one, but Kent State hit seven. Wasn't enough to help them win, but hey. Number nine, Florida Atlantic, be number eight, Memphis, 66-65. Uh, for Atlantic, Rosado, 15 points. Davis, 12 points, 5 rebounds. Uh, Memphis is Davis, 16 points, followed by Williams, 13 points, 13 rebounds. Um, Florida Atlantic, 25 for 65 from the field. Memphis, 25 for 58 from the field. 
Uh, another game, both teams were close in all the other numbers. Turnovers, blocks, assists, all that. Um, probably why it's a one-point game. Another good one. Number six, TCU beats number 11, Arizona State, 72-70. to TCU's Miles Jr. is 26 points, four rebounds, followed by O'Bannon Jr., 15 points, four rebounds. Uh, Sun Devils Horn, 17 points, six rebounds, followed by Washington. He had 11 points, eight rebounds. Uh, Horn Frogs, 22 for 62 from the field. Sun Devils, 25 for 52 from the field. Uh, TCU hit 20 out of 27 free throws. Arizona State turned the ball over 13 times. Going into yesterday's second round, number five, San Diego State. Ends number 13, Furman's Dream. Man, that, that's pretty mean of them, huh? Uh, San Diego State wins 75-52. Hey, but at least Furman, hey, you can go home with that good win under your belt. Uh, Parrish for San Diego State, 16 points, six rebounds. Furman's Bothwell, 15 points. San Diego State with 29 for 58 from the field. Furman, 16 for 50. Um, now San Diego State out rebounded Furman 41 to 24. San Diego State also had five steals and six blocks in this game. Uh, let's see here. Good game, like I said. Um, you used to, that just didn't look like Duke. I mean, Duke doesn't look like Duke since you know Coach K left, but man. Uh, number four, Tennessee beats number five, Duke, 65-52. Um, this, this was a good game. I mean, it really was until tor towards the end of the second half. Then it just kind of got crazy. Uh, Tennessee's Nakamhoa. I guess that's how you say his name. Anyway, hell of a game for him. 27 points, five rebounds. He hit three three-pointers. Vescovi, 14 points, five rebounds, five assists. He hit four three-pointers in this one. Uh, Dukes Proctor, 16 points, six assists. Filipowski and Roach, 13 points each. Um, Tennessee, 23 for 57 from the field. Duke was 21 for 49 from the field. They had 15 turnovers in this game. This, Like I said, this game was good all the way up until, I don't know, middle, middle part of the second half to the end of the second half. And then uh, Duke just looked like they were getting wore out. And, and uh, Tennessee just ran with it, but Still a good game. Uh, another shocker. Um, didn't think this was going to happen. Number eight, Arkansas beats number one, Kansas. 72-71. Arkansas Davis, 25 points, eight rebounds. Council the fourth, 21 points, six rebounds, four assists. Uh, Wilson for Kansas, 20 points, four rebounds, followed by Adams Jr., 14 points, three rebounds. Arkansas, 24 for 58 from the field. Kansas, 24 for 50. Arkansas 21 for 26 from the free throw line. Kansas 18 for 25 from the free throw line. Arkansas, one less turnover than Kansas. They had 11, Kansas had 12. A lot of people are saying because Bill Self wasn't there is uh, why they didn't win this game. I don't know. Um, I can remember when Chris Beard got fired at Texas. That, I forget his name, but the intern coach, he came in and look where he's got Texas at now, so... I don't really know if you can use that. Maybe you could say it was weighing on their minds throughout the whole game. This coach self, okay, is he going to be all right? Um, I mean, I could have done it, but I don't know. Uh, Princeton. Princeton says, no, we ain't going home. We don't want to go home yet. Number 15, Princeton beat number 7, Missouri, 78-63. Princeton's laying board, 22 points, 6 rebounds, 4 assists. Peters, 17 points. Five three-pointers, and he did that coming off the bench. Missouri's Golston, 19 points, four rebounds. Carter, 14 points, four rebounds. Princeton, 27 for 62 from the field. Missouri, 25 for 61 from the field. Uh, Princeton hit 12 three-pointers in this game. And they out-rebounded uh, out Missouri, 44 to 30. Number one, Houston. They made it interesting, didn't they? Beat number nine, Auburn, 81-64. Houston's Mark, 26 points, nine rebounds, followed by Sasser, 22 points. He hit five three-pointers. Auburn's Brome and Williams, 14 points each. They were the leading scorers. Houston, 25 for 60 from the field. Auburn, 20 for 53 from the field. Houston, 24 for 29 
free throws. And that second half, it looked like all their points were coming from free throws. They got fouled so much. And they made 90% of them in that second half. Um, Auburn was 19 for 36 from the free throw line. Houston, 45 rebounds. Auburn had 34 rebounds. Houston, 12 block shots. Auburn turned the ball over eight times. Um, this was a tale of two halves. That first half, Auburn looked like they were going to cruise and win this game. Uh, I was worried about this game for Houston's sake. But, uh, yeah, they played. Auburn played a great first half, leading by 10 at halftime. Uh, second half started off kind of, eh, for both teams, but they slowly kicked it in gear, but Houston kicked it in more than the, than the Auburn did. Um, 17, Auburn went on a 17-4 run before the first half ended. Um, incredible. I mean, Houston, Houston didn't look like they even had an answer for them. Looks like we were going to have the third number one seed taken out of this tournament at halftime. I mean, that's really what it looked like. But, um, yeah, they used to come back in the second half, hit just about every free throw. Like, so Auburn was fouling the shit out of them. Um, Auburn was only four for 24 from the field in the second half. Um, Houston really stepped up that defense. And really, both teams in the second half, um, shooting from the field wasn't all that great. There's, it seems like you went for a few minutes before any team scored. I mean, it was, it was kind of crazy. But Houston gets it. They move on. Um, number two, Texas beats number 10, Penn State, 71-66. Disu for Texas, 28 points, 10 rebounds, followed by Rice, who came off the bench, 13 points. Winter for Penn State, 16 points, 4 rebounds. Funkin' Dread, 12 points. Sounds like a movie title, huh? Funkin' Dread. Uh, Texas, 31 for 61 from the field. Penn State, 25 for 60 from the field. Uh, Texas only hit one three-pointer in this game, and Penn State hit eight of them. Crazy. Uh, both teams were eight for 11 from the free throw line. Texas had five turnovers in this game. Penn State had nine. That may have what did them in. And these last couple of games here, uh, Boy Northwestern, they, uh, they did not want to leave this tournament. They fought. Number two, UCLA beats them, though, 68-63, only about five points. Jock Hens Jr., for UCLA, 24 points, 8 rebounds, 4 assists. Uh, nice game for him again. Bailey behind him, 14 points, 4 rebounds. Northwestern's Bowie, who always seems to get it done, 18 points, 4 rebounds, 4 assists. Followed by Nicholson, 17 points. UCLA, 22 for 44 from the field. Northwestern, 22 for 59 from the field. Uh, another one of those games where both those teams are close in all the categories, all the other numbers. Uh, Probably why it's only a five-point game. Uh, Northwestern did make a late push <clears throat> in the second half to try to win that thing, but uh, UCLA just kind of turned their defense up. Held Northwestern for to uh, one and twelve from the field and shooting in that in that part in that little run they went on. So I don't know. Uh, number one Alabama beats number eight Maryland 73-51. Quinley for Alabama twenty-two points. He had four three-pointers in this game. Miller, 19.7 rebounds. Maryland's Reese, 14 points, followed by Young, who had 12 points. Uh, Alabama, 23 for 58 from the field. Maryland was 19 for 54. Alabama hit six three-pointers in this game. Maryland only hit one. Um, Alabama was 21 for 28 from the free throw line. Bama did get off to a slow start. Uh, they're only leading by five at halftime. I guess the... Coach Oates yelled at them in the uh, in the locker room at halftime, and they came back and played better. All right, so today we're finishing up this uh, second round weekend. We'll have a Sweet 16 set by the end of the day. Pitt and Xavier, Kentucky and Kansas State. This is an interesting one. Um, a lot of people saying Kentucky still isn't playing where Kentucky should be. Kansas State's playing better than they have. So Kentucky, Kansas State, that should be an interesting one. Michigan State versus Marquette, St. Mary's and UConn, Creighton and Baylor, Fairleigh Dickinson looking to keep on going versus Florida Atlantic, though. Florida Atlantic's a good team. Miami and Indiana, that's another interesting one. Um, yeah, I think that one's going to be pretty entertaining. And then also TCU and Gonzaga after that, or at the same time, who knows. Um, so, we got some good games today. 
that is it. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Enjoy the basketball. I uh, hope you have a good week. Stay busy so it goes by fast. The weekend will be back here again. Anyway, be safe, and we will see you next time.